Hey, you early bird. It's okay. Just fake it till you make it. Hey there, welcome back to Amy TV. If you've been around here for a while, you know that I like to make the most out of every day by waking up early, somewhere between 5 and 5.30 a.m. Okay, unless it's the weekend, in which case I absolutely sleep in. Uh, Obviously, I'm not a robot. Getting out of bed before the sun comes up can be really challenging. So what you decide to do during those first hours of the morning to keep you out of bed are extremely critical. So today I'm sharing my early morning routine so that you can kind of get an idea of what I do to make sure I stay on my A game and start my day off right. Hopefully it can be helpful for you. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I make new videos every Wednesday and Sunday and I would love to have you back for the next one. So my early morning morning routine. First, I always dread the sound, but it's not a bad sound of an alarm. And let me tell you why. My phone is my alarm, but my phone is not allowed to sleep with me. So my phone stays in my office, this room right here, every at least Sunday through Thursday night, okay? If it's a weeknight, if it's a school night, that phone is tucked away in another room. I might go a little rogue on the weekend, but not usually. I actually kind of like putting it in here no matter what. But there are nights where I don't on the weekend. Friday night, I might do a little extra scrolling. So when the alarm goes off, I am forced to not only get out of bed, but to leave the room, which requires a lot of steps. Steps that are very difficult to do if you are waking up that early in the morning. But it's the first challenge I give my body. So if we get that far, we're moving right along. I turn off the alarm in my office and I keep it off. I don't snooze and I leave it in my office. I don't wanna touch my phone yet. I've got other things that are much more important to do. So then I go to the kitchen and I tiptoe around Lucy, who I'm hoping will sleep a little bit longer. She's pretty good at that, but I swear these days, the moment she smells me, she just wakes up right away. I don't want her to be a part of my morning routine until I've at least had my lemon water. So that's the first thing I do. I quietly put together a lemon water to wake up the body. You guys know I haven't really been drinking coffee lately, so this lemon water, which I've been drinking for years, is even more critical than ever before because it's pretty much the only thing that I'm doing to naturally wake up the body. Water alone will, of course, do this if you're very good at drinking water, but I kind of want a taste of something, and lemon is just so, so good for you. So that lemon water first thing in the morning, just it's the most amazing routine. It feels right. Every single morning, it's like, okay, time to wake up, and just giving myself the purpose that I have to drink all at least 16 ounces of that lemon water by, you know, the end of my morning routine kind of helps me move things along and get super hydrated after a really long amount of time without water. You don't think about it, but like you literally don't drink water for like eight to 10 hours, depending on sort of how your night went. That's a long time to go without hydration. It's a long time. So this water is extremely crucial to my body waking up. Not surprising to most, the next part of my routine is to wake up my face so that I can proceed with anything else, which means my skincare routine. I've talked about this in great detail in the past, and you can watch another video to get updated on that entire process. So kind of different about my routine lately is I'm working out as early as possible because I noticed that as I kept telling myself like, oh, I'll work out after I do all of my other routine things. And then it got to be like nine and then 9.30 and then 10 o'clock. And I just hate working out mid morning because as nice as it feels, cause I can, like I have that flexibility in my schedule. It gets to be really late in the day by the time I, you know, shower afterward and then get ready. Maybe I have to make a video or something. Suddenly it's the afternoon. So it just got to feeling like I was losing a lot of my day by putting off the workout. So I've been really trying to get into that workout by six or 6.30. That way, you know, I'm not even wasting a moment getting it done and I can do literally everything else. So the next thing I do obviously after working out is hop in the shower because otherwise you just feel disgusting. No matter how little you made an effort during your workout. <laughs> you just feel gross. The first thing I do in the shower is wash my hair, but that only happens twice a week. I don't wash my hair more than twice a week. Sometimes I'll put conditioner in a little bit more, but I swear if I just like let it get wet or just keep it dry all together and put it in a shower cap. I tend to do that mostly throughout the week. I don't overwash my hair. I, I just noticed it was stripping out color. It was just stripping out oils and it's just not a thing. You probably know that that's best practices at this point, so nothing new. But I always put my hair up in a towel to get it out of the way. I have this weird complex about my hair touching like my body soap. I don't know why. I just don't like the idea of it. They shouldn't be together. So my hair is always up in a towel or a shower cap 
if I'm moving on to the next phase. And that next phase is the Daily Essentials Starter Set from Dollar Shave Club. I'm totally obsessed with this little kit. It is exactly what I need for the rest of the shower. Sometimes the only thing I need in the shower if I'm obviously not washing my hair. The first thing is the body cleanser. It's the Wanderer body cleanser. It is lavender scented, which means I love it. I love the smell of lavender. I, I don't care what time of day it is, it's amazing. So it's kind of this combination of coconut derived cleansers, which I love coconut, so I'm totally in on that, and vitamin rich conditioners, so your skin just like feels amazing as soon as you're done using it. I'm all about that loofah life. I know a lot of people aren't, but I do the loofah, that's what I do. So loofah and Wanderer body cleanser, perfect. The other thing I love, and I think you need to be about this life, is the One Wipe Charlies. Seriously. You gotta hear this. You know how sometimes you're in the shower and you're like, I feel like I wanna get everywhere clean, but I don't feel like I have everything I need to get everything clean because that's kind of not something that I would ever want to keep. Like, I don't want to use a washcloth in certain areas. I just don't. These things are amazing because they are, of course, disposable. They are wipes and they have that peppermint tingle that makes you know for sure. You got it all. I don't think I need to go on and say any more about that. That is a reassuring feeling. I'm all about the one wipe, Charlie's. And of course the executive razor and the shave butter, which are the things that I just like never run out of. Thank goodness for Dollar Shave Club. Oh my God, remember when we had to shop for razors? So annoying. Big shout out to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this episode of Amy TV. And you get to take advantage of something pretty cool. The Daily Essentials Starter Set is available to you for just $5 if you join as a new member. So you'll get everything I mentioned, including the body cleanser, the three one wipe Charlies that come with it, the razor and the shave butter. So all the details to that are in the description below or you can go to dollarshaveclub.com slash Amy TV. The next part of my morning routine might depend a little bit on what day of the week it is again because I do a little bit of fake tanning here and there and I love my Saint Tropez products for that so I will pop out of the shower and kind of apply some lotion that's specific to maintaining a fake tan and if I need to apply all over or if I'm just doing some touch up somewhere that's usually that next step the skincare never ends around here does it no it doesn't <laughs> the next part of my morning routine is meditation so I have been waiting to do this a little bit throughout the morning because I noticed when I did it first thing that it kind of made me want to go back to sleep and that was not ideal for staying productive so now that I've done the workout I woke up I did the shower I did the whole thing it's time for just sort of like a moment of get back to Zen get back to just like chill and have five to ten minutes of silence and I've been using the headspace app a lot more lately than any of the other apps that I've tried I think that the voice is just so calming so at least I, I've really been shooting for ten minutes minutes because I feel like if you don't have 10 minutes to just like allow yourself to have that time you probably don't really have a great like life you're not very organized you're not able to give yourself some flexibility and man it's just amazing when you're able to just have that moment with yourself after meditation I like to do some writing so one of the first things I've been doing is just going over my affirmations so this is a little bit of like what are my goals and what are the things that I'm going to do to work toward those goals and that kind of starts my writing pro practice there's about five things that I go through that I just rewrite that I already have written somewhere but I just rewrite them because I think the practice of rewriting something means you have to review it and go over it and that helps you stay in tune with why you do everything you do and you're more likely to say no to things that don't align with the things that you're working toward. If you don't review those goals, review your affirmations on a regular basis, it's easy to lose track of that stuff. And from there, I kind of just roll into morning pages. I've been letting affirmations just start my morning pages. If you're not familiar with the morning pages practice, we've talked about it a little bit here, but it's essentially just uh, three pages of anything that comes to mind. And I felt like the affirmations were a really good way of starting those off because otherwise, you know, you can tend to just like let your mind wander in other places places that maybe aren't as productive and I know I'm trying to control my morning pages a little bit more than I should but it just has felt like it's such a better result by the end because I feel like my head was in the right place when I sat down and maybe tried to epiphanize a little bit and just have something cool happen as a result of just writing for three pages straight. If you're not familiar with morning pages sort of like the traditional teaching of this I highly recommend you check out The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron just a great great book and it talks all about 
this morning pages concept if you're interested in sort of helping your creativity come back in a big way. So that is my early morning routine. Hopefully it's helpful for you if you're trying to figure out what the heck do I even do if I wake up at five o'clock in the morning? How do I make the most of that time? So if you're watching this video and you really just want that time to be for you, maybe try a couple of these things to see how it goes. If you enjoyed these tips, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. That helps me a lot. That tells me that you enjoy what we're doing here. And if you do enjoy it, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I make new videos every Wednesday and Sunday, especially if you like this productivity routine thing. We do that quite a bit. So come back for the next one. Don't forget to check out the Dollar Shave Club Essential Starter Set. The links to that, they're all in the description below. And if you do join, thank you because you continue to support this channel so we can continue to do bigger and better things. That's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you subscribe for good vibes and remember to continue to go after the life that you want. Cheers.